Hello, in this session we will see how to upgrade our solution to .NET 6. The very first thing we need to do is update Visual Studio to the latest version. At the time of recording, it is 17.0.4. Once Visual Studio is updated, let us start with cleanup and upgrading process. Going forward, we don't need SQL repository, so let us remove this project. When you remove any project from the solution, you need to remove it from folder also. So let us go to source, infrastructure and remove this folder. Now we have these five projects in our solution. Let us change target framework to .NET 6 to all these projects. You can right click, go to properties and change target framework to .NET 6.0. Another way is you can directly edit project file and specify target framework here. So let us make this change in all our projects. Next, C Sharp 8 onward, we can use nullable reference types feature which will help to reduce null exceptions at runtime. Compiler will warn us if there is possible null reference exception. We can enable it by adding this line in our project file. So let us do this for all our five projects. Next, we need to update all NuGet packages for this solution. Right click on solution. Go to NuGet packages for solution. On updates tab, it will list all the packages which you can update. Select all packages and update. With these minimal changes, our solution is ready and upgraded for .NET 6. We can stop here. But we want to use new minimal hosting model that ASP.NET Core 6.0 introduced. Although this is optional step, let us do it. If you will create new API project using latest Visual Studio, you will find that there is no startup.cs file and in program there is no main method. Main method is disappeared because we are using top level statement introduced by C Sharp 9.0. If you remember in our startup.cs there are two methods configure and configure services. All the content of startup.cs are now moved to program.cs itself. You will not even find using statements here because implicit usings is enabled here. So let us make same changes in our project. Go to Orion API project file and enable implicit using. Go to program.cs. Now we can remove all these usings and as we want to use top level statements we can even remove these namespaces, program class and main method and we will be using this new syntax to create our builder object. You can create one new API project and you can use these statements as your reference. So let us copy and paste it here. Now this is a part where we add services to the container and this is a part where we configure our request pipeline. So if you will go to startup configure services was responsible to add services to our container. Let us copy this code and paste it over here as add application add cosmos repository add third party services are from these projects. So we need to add these using statements. So these are few using statements that we will need. Then you need to add services like builder.services.addcontrols. So your code will look like this. You are adding all the required services to the container. Then here you are creating object of application. So at this point builder has all the information that which services it need to use. Once this object is created, we can configure pipeline. 
earlier we used to do that in configure method so this part will go below here now environment object is available in app dot environment these statements will remain as it is now there is no need of use endpoints you can simply say app dot map controllers and the last statement will be app dot run now we can remove this startup dot cs file and i guess we are ready to go so this is how you can use minimal hosting model of asp.net 6.0 clean your solution and rebuild it now we can check if it runs properly swagger page is launched successfully let us check if we can fetch some data from the database and here you go you are successfully fetching data from the database make sure that you are using your own database primary key in app settings.json file with this we can stop here if you find this content useful please like and subscribe if you wish to receive a notification whenever a new episode is published then do not forget to hit the bell icon and click all option in the frequency drop down thank you